My name is Dennis Kozlov and my project is Digital Odometer. It's an award-winning product that has won Irish Times Innovation Award 2007 and is a product for testing human hearing. And this uh, project has been presented for as a final year project for DCU for the School of Computing. Uh, now I'm going to demonstrate how the software works and some of the functionality behind the software. Like the very first time when you launch this uh, application, you'll see a wizard type of screen that gives you a few basic actions like create new profile, open existing profile, and go through the introduction. We'll go to the create new profile. Here you enter like basic information about the person, surname, first name, and so on. Once you set up your profile, you can start automatic test. And the test can be conducted in manual mode or automatic mode, which is a, a brand new feature. Um, so we start with the manual test just to show the uh, graphical user interface. Now here we're going to see an audiogram for the right here and an audiogram for the left here. That's where we're going to plant the actual uh, points um, and draw an audiogram for the person. So uh, how the test is conducted is a s signal is produced at specified frequencies at different levels to find a threshold of hearing for that particular frequency. And then uh, when the th threshold is found we plant a point on the graph and then we move on to the next frequency. For example, we'll start with a thousand hertz and we'll be producing a tone, say, at 10 decibel level and we play that tone and the person would be wearing a headphones and he would hear a signal and when he hears a signal he presses the response button and it will appear as a red point on the user interface and then we know that the uh, person has actually heard the tone and by jiggling around the level, the output level, we find the threshold of hearing for that particular frequency. And we found, when we found this, we plant the point on the graph, and we move on to the next frequency, and do exactly the same by uh, testing different kind of levels. Uh, we find a point, and we plant it on the graph again, and do uh, several of those frequencies, and plant it on the graph, and we do then the same for the left ear. Once we're finished, with uh, and planted and tested all the frequencies and planted all the points. We finish the test and click save. It's automatically added to the profile. Right now we don't have that many uh, frequencies tested, so I open a, a test that has all the frequencies tested, all the standard frequencies. And here, for example, a uh, badly damaged uh, hearing at precisely at 2000 hertz, there's a big cave that signifies that a person has kind of bad hearing in that kind of frequency range up to 80 decibels uh, hearing loss. And there's also diagnosis is generated uh, by uh, British standard. There's a defined kind of procedure for generating diagnosis. And when we get the graph, uh, at the moment it's meaningless for the customer. And here where the simulation emulation functionality comes in, where we can um, simulate and emulate the um, effect of the hearing aid, how the hearing aid would actually help people uh, hear better and simulation is to demonstrate for the person who hears well how, he's, how the subject's hearing is actually bad and uh, by demonstrating that we can promote uh, the actual hearing aid and help customers to uh, get the hearing aid as soon as possible before they actually damage their hearing even more. Like the hearing test for you. So you're going to put your uh, headphones on, and whenever you hear a signal, you press the response button. Yeah. That's it. We're done. We uh, created an audiogram for only one ear, which is left. And uh, that's a normal looking shape. There is a normal looking kind of uh, curve over there because people usually hear badly in the low frequencies. So we can uh, repeat the same procedure for the right ear now. And after that, the hearing test will be finished.